Why, good morrow, my peoples. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything else. But good morrow, and today we are back to uh, civilization. The evil world full of evil people and stuff. Last episode, we um, met Cuba, who's still not showing up. We also met Genghis, Mr. Genghis over here. He's the only one who will probably show up, except me. Like, I'm in the background right there. But I also have a timer, which I just set to 25 minutes, so we don't go over 30 minutes. Um, so, we're going to start right off today with North Korean fun facts. All right. Did you know that Kim Jong-un ordered all male citizens to copy his haircut? The more you know, I guess. Well, uh, there's your fun fact for the day. Now, if you remember last episode, we the barbarians invaded us. However, we were able to push them back all the way into the end here. And their defeat is imminent. Uh, I think we're going to put a city here, maybe. Or maybe on this marshland. Like, we just got a, um, I think we are going to put it here. Because we, our path beyond, uh, is that if we have marshland, oasises, and something else, I forget. Uh, floodplains, I believe? Um, then we get a production boost. So... Yeah, and there we go, we just won the war, boom, there we go. The war is now won against the barbarians, and we're going to start healing up here. Uh, fortify until healed. Alright, these scouts are basically just going to keep exploring down here in the continent of Ur. Ooh, we were attacked, supposedly. Supposedly, we were attacked. Alright, uh, so... We're going to keep going here. I imagine this comes up like this. You now it just goes around, like where my mouse is going. But maybe there's like a whole new continent over here. I don't know. Alright, well, we live on a pretty big continent. And it's all connected by like just this tiny little thing. Like right here is where the continent separates. I'm pretty sure. This down here is going to be a major mess. Because Cuba's going to, like, put a city here or something, and then there's going to be just, like, border gore, as they, as people like to call it. It's going to be such border gore down here. Oh, man. I'm excited to see that. Okay. Let's continue exploring down. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, 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 ooh. That's new territory. That's someone we've not met before, I think. No, I'm pretty sure that is someone new. So we get to meet a new culture today. Hooray! Oh crap, low amenities already in Pyongyang. Un wonderful. Weren't they starving last episode? Or maybe it was Nam Pao. Like, they were starving the entire time last episode. I don't know. I'm a great leader. All hail me. We also have this trade route going, which is definitely helping. Two turns until... Oh. Yeah, sure, dude. I'll, um... I'll welcome your delegation. We also have two turns until the Hanging Gardens is complete. If someone gets that, I'm going to be very disappointed. I just heard the barbarian. Oh, we're in a class square. Wealth consists nice. Not in just got currency. I just heard a, I'm um, like, boom, 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 which is like the uh, barbarians, isn't it? Where are the barbarians? Ah, oh, there's the barbarians. It's the Kumazi. If you live in Kumazi, where is Kumazi? It must be, uh, I think it's in Africa, right? I think it's Nigeria? Uh, I'm looking at my map right now. I have like a map right above my, right above um, my monitor, and I can't find Kumazi on it. So maybe someone can tell me where Kumazi is. I don't really know. Um, let's see. I think we're gonna do masonry. That way we can make um, battering rams, which can help destroy walls like this one. Whoa! Oh, that's right. If you also missed last episode, Cuba and Mongolia are currently at war. Which doesn't make any sense, because they put their city right here after they declared war. I would never do that. Anyway, um, let's do a granary. That was, we just built the monument to show how great our victory at the, over the barbarians were. And we're going to start until healed. Let's see who it is in one, two, three. Oh, oh my goodness. This should be Donald J. Trump has entered. In New York City. 
All right, there you go. For, I wish these were working, but Don, this is Donald Trump of the American Empire, and we're happy to we're happy to welcome your delegation to the capital. All right, thanks, bro. Oh, they're at war. Donald Trump's at war with somebody. Oh, oh. Wait, seriously? Dang. Okay, so Genghis Khan is like in trouble because America is at war against them and so is Cuba. Genghis might not make it that much longer. Okay, so I also noticed that um, you couldn't really hear me last episode. Not as well as I have previously. So I'm trying to talk a bit louder, if you couldn't tell. Hey! They to the highest stories by stairs and at their side are water engines by means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. There you go! The Hanging Gardens is complete. Now, we don't have a White House. This is where Kim Jong-il, or whatever his name is, sleeps in here. So you could call it the Greenhouse. Ah, I'm so funny. All right. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. So... This is where he's, this is where Kim, what's his name? I, I always forget. Yeah, it's Kim Jong-il. He sleeps in there. He's probably going to break it up. It's probably going to be destroyed next century. Anyway, oh, let's do a library. That way we can start producing more science and we become the greatest civilization in the world of North Korea. Um, New York, oh. Ooh, Russian troops are in here. So wait. Is Donald Trump at war of the Soviets? Okay, so he's actually friendly against Genghis. However, the Soviets just aren't showing up, so that's why he's right there. Okay, so the Soviets in the U.S. are at war, war. War. That means this is like World War III going on right now. And these guys are at war. So this whole freaking continent is a mess. Like, it's, um, it's like Europe, like, in the Middle Ages, where there's just, like, these bunch of little micro-kingdoms everywhere, and they're all trying to cut each other's throats and stuff. You know what I'm talking about. However, the thing is... Oh. Fools do not plan for war. Deserve only silence. Mussolini, I thought we were bros, dude. We're for... We're bros. You shouldn't be... You shouldn't be talking to me like that, Mussolini. Okay. But, yeah... This is basically... Oh, crap. There's another there's another invasion coming. Get the troops. We're moving out again. All right. Take two, Barbarian Wars. The second Barbarian Invasion. All right. Well, let's see how well this goes. Oh, that's wonderful, dude. Oh, our scout. Oh, I wish we had more health. Our scout could may be able to take out that encampment, which would be awesome. I'm pretty sure, yeah, the Ro the Romans, the Italians have a city up here. So the Italians are basically going to own, like, this part of the continent. We're basically going to, like, split in half. Like, right in this, right here is probably going to be, like, where we split our ownership, I imagine. Okay, so. Oh. Oh, the Italians are on our side. Maybe Mussolini isn't that bad of a guy. Nah, he's still pretty bad. All right, um, we got to get a city. We'll put a city, like, here somewhere. We can get crabs, wheat, milk, and we might be able to get jade. Now, this city's already going to get jade. So let's put it, like, right here. Then we can get furs. We can also get crabs, milk. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Okay. However, the bad thing is there is... Oh, no, let me finish my thoughts, game bad thing is there's an encampment right there so we're gonna have to go take those guys out I feel like the Italians might do all the work for us so I think we're just gonna leave it like that let's go take on the this encampment go yeah beat him with a stick Woo! all right uh, let's check out Donald Trump's America let's see how terrible it is oh would you look at that there's protests all over the streets that's not surprising Thousands of marches throughout Donald Trump's America over him being impeached. Im impeached? Impeached. What you guys? Oh, you're part of... Oh, oh, whoa. A lot of... What the crap is going on? C Cuba took over... <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, um... 
Oh, this is interesting. Cuba is now like the world power in domination. Oh, we just got surrounded. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, we got dominated. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. Well, we just lost our scout over there. Hooray! Yay! Alright, well, if we look at world rankings, Cuba is now the number one world power in the world. Wait, the number one world power in the world. Yep, that makes sense. Let's see, we have 61 military strength. They have 84. There are already, like, 20 things ahead of us. So they're... Cuba's, like, ready for war. <laughs> Here's Charleston. No one's protecting this city. I don't know why the Soviets don't just, you know, send all their military from Moscow right here. Ooh, that was a gamble. Look how close they put their cities together. Ooh, Donald Trump's going crazy. Oh, he's already unfriendly towards me. That's wonderful. Thank you, Mr. DJ Trump. All right. What do we got? Someone built the pyramids. Don't know who. Someone did. Oh, man. We're also about to finish the library here. There we go. So now we are going to make a settler. We're going to go settle this nice spot over here, right where the barbarians were. Um, I think we're going to start sending up our troops up here to take out this encampment. Whoa, something happened. Oh, our scout. All right. I don't know if many people are enjoying this series. I'm enjoying this series. But I don't know if anyone else is, is the problem. If you're not, just leave a comment. Well, if no one's watching this video, then how could you leave a comment? You see what I mean there? Okay, so Mongolia and Cuba are working. No. Oh, did they just have peace, maybe? I think they may have just declared peace. Yep. War shall statues hey, overturn and brought um, and rule a sound yeah, motto. so Unite. the war in the... We're going to call this, like, Ur. Well, it is Ur, but this is like Europe. The war is over, and, well, I mean, I guess, no, there, I was about to say, peace has stro struck the continent. Um, World War III is still going on between the Soviets and the United States, so, that was great that I put them so close. They're going to declare war on each other, like, every other year. Okay, drama and poetry, or games and recreation. I think we're going to do this, because this can give us amenities. Now, normally, this would let us build a entertainment complex however there is not entertainment is not allowed in the great civilization of North Korea so we have to have a propaganda disc to make um, amenities so we're not giving Republic we're not giving that much freedom to the people we uh, let's see oh we can get extra wonder boosts which I do like or we can get extra military strength hmm I think we're gonna do autocracy yeah, we're going to do autocracy. There we go. There we got that guy. He's going like, look, dude, it's, uh, it's the it's the side of the car, dude. And, um, yeah, everyone's, like, cool with him. All right, so we're going to do conscription. So we have unit, ma unit maintenance reduced by one. We're also going to do inspiration to get a great scientist. And, um, more gold or we can get more production. Uh, we're doing pretty well so far in gold, so I think we're just going to leave it like that. There we go. The game always lags after you choose a new set of policies. There we go. Okay. So. Ooh, these guys are ready now. Whoa. You need to grow up and rid yourself of your foolish superstitions and ideals. Uh, what does that mean, Mr. Stalin? Um, well, you might join in... We might join on the American side in the war then, because Stalin keeps sending me threats, and we could have a use for Moscow. Like, if we took Moscow, that's a pretty nice spot, because they got bananas and crystals and rice and bananas and crabs and iron and bananas. Yeah, Moscow's not that great. Never mind. <laughs> Iron is pretty useful, though. Did we get those horses yet? Oh, yeah, we already did get the horses. Never mind. I think we might join in on the World War III that's going on right now. A um, change of events where North Korea joins the U.S.'s side. Let's go take out these barbarians. 
Or maybe we can be like n regular North Korea, just go completely isolationist. Which is also a pretty good option in my opinion. We might just go isolationist besides with Mussolini because he's like... He's chill, like he's giving us stuff, right? He are... I mean for some freaking reason he gave us the uh... What's that, w is it? Yeah. He gave us this. Which is already pretty nice. I mean we already have tourism. Tourism doesn't matter though. This is completely domination. I should probably also upgrade my warriors. I'm gonna get ironworking and start getting... Those dudes. You know what I'm talking about. America has founded Confuci Confuci Confucianism. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's basically like the Chinese religion that they had by Confucius. But I don't know how to. Oh, oh, come on! I don't want to do with the freaking scouts. <sighs> oh. Uh. All right, there we go. That was weird. But I don't want to deal with these stupid scouts. Oh man, the game is really lagging. I'm not doing anything, am I? Oh yeah, I am playing this game, so I mean that's technically doing something. Uh, be right back. Oh, never mind. That was weird. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Oh, we also make pollen cube down there. Nice. I really want to build a panda, except you can only do that. What do you have to do? Must be adjacent to your capital. I really want to do a panda, but I don't think we're going to be able to do a panda, which is sad. So let's just do a builder. Okay, let's do this. Barbarians, prepare to meet your doom. The great North Korean army of 12 guys. Doesn't matter. We also have a dog somewhere. The dog's down here in the U.S. and Cuba. But, I mean, we can let that dog on you and he, you'd flee for your lives. Whoa, alright, Soviets are going crap, like, they don't know what they're doing because they just denounced Cuba. And America is now training with the Soviet Union, so I believe that the, uh, alright, just a Stalin. <laughs> Genghis now is two people, apparently. A man on a horse is spiritually, as well as physically bigger than a man on foot. Okay, so, they just had peace. America is now at peace with, uh with Stalin, but Stalin is like now trying to fight Cuba because they just denounced Cuba. That's a bad idea because Cuba just took out freaking Genghis Khan, so I don't know if I would support you on your idea, um, Mr. Stalin, I can think of it. Come on, we're going to take out this encampment. You guys are going to lose. It's going to be all wonderful. I think we're also going to change this city now to transfer to Pyongyang, and we're going to start building Rome. I was going to say let's go to Moscow, but you know, they're they're sort of jerks right now. And also, there's another city state down here. This is really like Europe right now, <laughs> where it's just a bunch of cities, city states basically, because the cities are so spread out that you don't even know. Like these two shouldn't even be a part of the same country. Oh, man. This is terrible. We're not settling down, or we're not going to take a little... Ooh, or maybe we can go, like, European 18th or 19th century imperialism and, like, send down a bunch of boats and just start putting, like, colonies everywhere. That'd actually be sort of fun. Having, like, a bunch of these little colonies in the middle of Europe. Or, er, I keep calling it Europe. <laughs> ah, there we go. Take a little drink of my Pepsi. This video game is sponsored by the Pepsi, the official stage. sponsor of my no. god awful channel. Drink Pepsi and get a kidney stone today. Alright. Let's send you to Rome. We're gonna make a nice little road to Rome. All roads lead to Rome. That type of thing. Uh battle cry. Send you forward. So you're now completely surrounded basically. You only have two exits. And it recommends that I go here. Which could oh, right here might be a good spot. Yeah, we're gonna go right there. There we go. Hopefully, no barbarians come in the way. That's for sure. Okay. Come on. Oh yeah. Okay. We lose the war. Every once in a while, my frame rate just drops dramatically. Don't know what's causing it. Sorry if it does. I would like to have the great library. Would be pretty nice. Uh, 
Now let's do recorded history. Let's start recording what's going on in Amsterdam. <laughs> we just found. Oh man. I, I, I'm actually, you know what, I'm definitely doing that now. We are going to put a bunch of little colonies on this, li in this little crappy continent. We could do a panda. A panda. Oh no, we gotta do propaganda district, right? Whoa, plus five? Are you kidding me? Heck yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, let's do that. Of course. We're gonna get a ton of production now. And now it's gonna also give us amenities because the propaganda district like gives people amenities. So not only are you gonna have amenities, it's gonna give us production. That's really good. Oh crap. Oh, Castro is um threatening me. Big whoop, dude. You're like 100. Well, you're like 300 miles away from me. I don't know what that would be in kilometers, but I doubt anyone from Britain or anywhere other than the United States would be watching this. I only. For the, like, five of you who do watch this, uh, go find someone else. Like, I'm not that entertain- I'm not- I'm not that big of an entertainer, obviously. I mean, I'm not very funny. I know I've said that many times, but it's true. Ooh, they're building something here. I think this is a district. Yeah, it's a holy site. Now, I know Castro built Stonehenge. It's probably, like, right up here. Does Stonehenge have to be adjacent to the capital? Or the, um, holy site? Probably. Alright, here we go. And you're dead. Oh. Yay! Alright. Well, that crap's going on. Let's, um... Oh, I want more science. But I also want more money. We're gonna go science. That way, like... I played a game before. I played as Germany before. This is like probably the. F it was the second game I ever played on Civ, Civ 6. And I went full science, and it was dominant. And basically, I had so much. I was like, I think five eras ahead of everyone else, so I basically just killed everyone with tanks when they still had pikemen. That type of thing, you know? Ah, there we go. This YouTube channel is sponsored by Pepsi. Get a Pepsi, get kidney stones. Oh crap. I was wondering what was taking so long. Um, we were gonna go right there. And we still are gonna try to go there. So go to the Holy Land. There we go. Okay. Well. Everything's going great. And America just added Cincinnati, which I imagine is right here. America seems to be the only country that has, like, their cities pretty close to itself. Like, this is the only Mongolian city anymore. This looks like a... Work does no, it's a commercial hub. This is a holy site. Alright, so... America seems to be the only thing... Like, if someone puts a city here, Soviet's gonna be, like, cut in half. Which is pretty bad, if you t ask me. And we're gonna put, like, a bunch of colonies on the beach and stuff. And everyone's gonna be so mad at us. Then we're gonna, like, leave, like, a century later and be like, Yeah, you guys can work out your own differences. Uh, we're gonna be... See ya, bye. And that's it. And we just leave them. And that's how European imperialism basically went. Okay, here we go. These guys are about to be demolished. By the way, is this a floodplain? What's a floodplain? Yeah, that's a floodplain. So if we put our city here, that's freaking amazing. <laughs> We're going to get so much production. All right, you're done. Boom, boom. And he falls into the river and drains up into the ocean. Oh, that was overly dramatic. Okay, so let's just wait here while we wait for the settlers to peacefully arrive. Holy crap, Amsterdam has 34 health. Dang. I mean, the strongest city in Ur right now is seems to be New York, which has 27. That's pretty good for Amsterdam. Wait, what is Palin Q? 27. All right. All right. And Italy now has Sun Tzu. Cuba has declared war on Palinque. Okay, I played a game before, and everyone declares war on Palinque. I don't get it. I like Palinque. Look at them. They're cute. They got, like, that little, whatever, the, I think that's a serpent. Because these guys are supposed to be, like, the Mayans, right? I'm pretty sure Palinque is the Mayans. Maybe the Iroquois. It's basically a Native American tribe. I'm pretty sure. 
I also set a timer, which is done in 30 seconds. So I think we might end the episode here. No idea what I'm going to call this episode. Expanding the empire? Ending the war? Uh, getting crap done. That's going to be the name of this episode. I think I like that. All right. Well, on that note, I'm going to wish you all... Well, let's finish the turn at least. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Woo! Being a YouTuber is hard. Not really. All I have to do is sit around and record video games all day. Not all day. Well, like, for 30 minutes of my life every day. I'll, oh, oh, crap! What the heck is going on here? They're either attacking barbarians or they're about to attack me. Uh. Oh, at least Genghis likes me. And on that note, next episode it appears that we are going to have a little trouble to deal with. We're going to have to start building up our military. And on that note, I wish you all cheers.